spring has arrived. The valley's farms are coming to life. Rodents set to embark their vigorous work in the field, and winged residents return for another nesting season in small nest boxes that were abandoned in winter. The camera transmits directly from the barn owl nest and is already showing the egg laying process. One egg every two days. When the nesting season officially starts, the barn owl people, researchers, farmers, and environmentalists head to the field for another season of monitoring and research. And for over 40 years, the barn owl initiative continues to progress. <laughs> בעמק החולה נוצרו נזקים אדירים מנברן השדה, החקלאים ריססו. הריסוס שלהם גרם להרלות משניות אדירות. ואז כל חובבי הטבע למיניהם, מן האקדמיה ועד החברה להגנת הטבע, התארגנו ביחד לחפש פתרון ולהמיר את הדברה הכימית בדברה ביולוגית. Even back then, the common kestrels and barn owls, which are diagonal and nocturnal raptors respectively, were recognized as effective biological controllers of rodents. If only they would join the fight. And join the fight they did in exchange for good nesting facilities. Despite local mistakes and setbacks, researchers stubbornly moved forward. The ecological initiative is enjoying growing success and the 14 nest boxes that were placed in Kibbutz Stay Aliyahu now become a network of more than 5,000 throughout Israel. Barn owls from the wild have settled into them and are reproducing very well. And what about the pesticide spraying planes? They have been replaced by barn owls, who reduce dramatically the rodents in the fields. The project is growing and attracting neighboring Palestinian and Jordanian farmers. We are very close geographically, the Jordanian and the Israeli. But in fact, we don't know each other. This kind of dialogue, it's uh, uh, build trust and confidence between the two societies who uh, uh, fight, fought each other 60 years. And now we have a peace treaty with our neighbors. We need also to, to, to show the people here what is the benefit and the fruitful of the peace treaty between Jordan and Israel. We are really uh, excited to have all Professor Yossi Leshem, a renowned Israeli ornithologist, together with his partners, share the project's vision and regularly hold conferences, workshops, and field tours for those interested from Israel and abroad to share their findings and knowledge. In fact, the Barnard is very peaceful. They share food. The big one, it gives the food to the small one. It happens every night. Because they are feeding each other. It's very rare in animals. And they also scratch the back of each other. And they even exchange commodities. If you scratch my back, I give you food. Kalmera, I'm Kosso Vlachopoulos. I'm a perivalentologist. I'm a scholar of the development of agricultural and agricultural ecosystems. السلام عليكم معكم خليل كريم فلاح مغربي في مجال الفواكه الحمراء كل ما يتعلق بالفراوله والتوت العليق كلمه راساس انا ما زوم خارج خارج ستيليس ارغازوم سني برسيات ثيراس كبانيداس دي برجوس ريغونس كيبرو السلام عليكم معكم محمد الحميدي من المغرب كلمه انا ما زوم فاسيلوس بوجورلوس لكم من السينورا كي بورينا اوديجيت في بوليونا من كيس نرغاسيس كي بوليو ما شو سكيسس it's not only adults who are supporting the barn owls and their benefits. Based on the belief in education and the initiative's ability to promote discourse and collaboration between children from all sectors have been carrying out to join research and learning about the barn owl's life. This shared interest has succeeded in bringing hearts together and creating friendships between children who come from very different cultures and societies. This ongoing initiative has been recently joined by the ATLAS project, led by Dr. Orr Spiegel of Tel Aviv University. Transmitters are attached to the barn owls so their movements can be followed for tens of kilometers. They provide service of rodent killing, okay, pest control. So that's the main overall motivation of the barn owl project as a whole. 
So Shlomo has basically two hats. One of them is working on the project on international cooperation between us in Jordan and on the applied aspect of using the barn owls as pest control. And the other one is more the basic fundamental science of asking questions about ecology and individuality and how different individuals move. במהלך שלוש שנים האחרונות משדרתי כ-200 תנשמות. המחקר מבוסס על מערכת האטלס, זו מערכת אזורית של מעקב אחרי תנועת בעלי חיים ברזולוציה גבוהה. אנחנו מקבלים מיקום של התנשמות בכל ארבע או שמונה שניות, והמערכת הזאת היא אזורית ומכסה את עמק חרוד, עמק בית שאן ואת עבר הירדן המזרחי עד מורדות גלעד. כחלק מהמחקר שלי אני גם ממשדר תנשמות בירדן וכאן בא שיתוף פעולה שלנו עם ACPD ומאפשר לנו להרחיב ולהעמיק עוד יותר את שיתוף הפעולה שלנו עם הירדנים. המעקב ברזולוציה גבוהה שיש לנו בעזרת האטלס אנחנו רואים שהמון פרטים מישראל שמקננים בישראל או בקעו בישראל עוברים צדים בירדן וחוזרים לישראל וגם הפוך זה מגביר לנו את החשיבות של השיתוף פעולה בין שני צידי הגבול שמראה שהתנשמות לא יודעות גבולות לא הגבול המדיני וגם לא הירדן During the nesting season, the parents hunted thousands of rodents for them, which significantly decreased poison in the valley and in our food. And no less important, this family of barn owls has created friendships, collaborations, and activities towards peace between us, between people. A full-length film about the National Barn Owl Initiative will be completed at the end of the 2024 nesting season. It's worth waiting for.